go to go fly. Mavic is over here on the table. Wife is over there looking through the door. Okay, let's see what the range on this Mavic Mini is. Let's see how far it can fly. All right, I'm going to get started. Press the takeoff button, hold this. Let go. All right, here we go. Okay, home points updated. No errors. All right. I believe this is April 5th, I think. And it's kind of late right now. It's after 7 o'clock. Let's see. We're going up. 50 feet. You can see the barn right now. Now we're looking into the sun, so that makes it kind of dark. I'm hoping that'll improve as the flight goes on. Now this doesn't have tap to focus like the Mavic Pro. It just auto focuses. Let's see what happens if I just turn the camera down a little bit. Yeah, there is some improvement. All right, that looks better. All right, let's proceed. We're only at 94 feet. Just gonna fly over the barn here. All right, right there. There's the barn. Let's take a look at that. There's the T right there. There's the flag. It's right at the edge. It must be challenging. And down here is the clubhouse. I'm going to be looking in the sun, but right there at the top center of your screen is the clubhouse. Let's take it up a little higher. If we go up at least 200 feet, I don't think anyone will even hear it. All right, we're going up 80, 90, 203. All right. All right, moving forward. I'm going to put my antennas forward here a little bit for better reception. You can see it's moving very slowly. We're going into what little breeze there is. I think it's about a five to six mile an hour wind. So there's the clubhouse right there. You can see there's still a few cars left, but the parking lot's pretty easy to see. It was crowded earlier today because they were all playing. Despite the lockdown or the social distancing, there was just four carts at a time, one bunch after the other all day long. So they have been very busy. I can see a little bit of the uh, north fork of the Roanoke River there. Now let's just fly over this way away from the clubhouse. Because I don't get out this way very often. Okay, so I'm going to have to move my chair out here. Just to make sure I'm going to get good signal. Don't want to lose signal. Alright, moving on out. This is sort of a... See, we're at 1,000, going up on 2,000 feet away. Give you some idea. The signal strength looks perfect so far. Now let's just stop there. I'm going to touch this map icon for a second. I want to see what I got. All right. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there we go. All right, there's the map icon.
All right, moving forward a little bit. I don't think you'll be able to see the map icon in the picture. Okay, now we've got aircraft enhanced warning zone. Uh, well, there is an airport. I'm going to have to agree. Confirm. The airport's like 600, well, about 500 feet above me. So I don't believe it's going to cause any trouble. I'm down in the valley, and it's up on top of the hill. It's usually 600 feet above my house, but you can take away 200. All right, now I'm getting weak signal. All right, I'm going to stand up. Return to home, no transmission. Okay, I'm going to confirm. Go home. All right, you can see it is returning to home. Okay, I canceled. I want to go back to the picture here. All right, I canceled it. Let's see where I am. I'm just looking around. Such a great view today. So it was about 2,500 feet away when it canceled. I've got plenty of battery, so I'm not really excited about coming back so soon. Alright, just looking around. In a complete view. It's looking out to the farm out there. There's my road coming around. Now, go down here on the camera a little bit. Let's look straight down and see where I'm at. I see the golf cart path. All right, I see where I'm at now. There is the hill over there. Now that was a point of interest. Oop, I moved a little bit too fast, but if I go over towards the hill right here, let me move the camera up. All right, that's a scalped off hill right there, and that was a point of interest. Boy, that's a beautiful shot right there with the sun on the mountains. But you notice the hill becomes too dark. All right, let's move forward towards that hill because I know I'm on my way home when I'm going towards that hill. All right. Coming back. My house is actually over towards the left across the fairway from that hill. Now the height of that hill should be similar to the height of my deck. So I should still be 200 feet above that hill, I hope. Definitely not running into anything. Let's turn a little bit to the right. All right I'm going to stop right there. And let's... Oh, I just lost signal. I don't know why. Go fly. It's coming back. There it is. I don't know what happened there, but it jumped out. Okay, so my house is over here. Right back that direction. Let's start heading there. Gonna we'll fly right over the hill. I can see the picture is kind of jerky on my phone. I know it won't look like that in the video from the quad, but it does look jerky on my phone. So I can see the house. Let me see if I can center up on it. There it is right there. So just a, almost in the center. All right, so now I'm not going to lose signal because I'm over the fairway where I usually fly. If I look back this way, you can see the barn right there. And if you look up, you can see the mountains. 
That's pretty right there. And now I'm looking down towards my house. Let's see if I can get the house in the center here. There it is. Now I'm going to look up and see if I can see the quad. I don't see it. I don't see Mavic Mini. But I know it's got to be there. It's hard. Oh, I see it. I see it now. I know you won't be able to see it in the camera. But, I mean in my hat cam, but I do see it. Right there. All right, coming back. Oh, it's moving quick, too. When you look at it in the sky, it looks like it's really moving. Probably going 35 miles an hour. I can hear it now, too. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. All right, now I'm going to hit the uh, home button. I'm going to put return to home. I could hit land, but I'm just going to do return to home. Let's bring it over the top of us. Let's see how accurate it is before I do the land. All right, here it comes. All right, stopped right overhead. Now, I'm gonna get my chair back here. Oh, it does say landing now. So return to home seems to do about the same thing as land. Here it comes. It's coming down fast too. It looks like it's a tad off there. Let's wait till it gets down here and I'm gonna cancel it. If it lands like that, it'll be landing in the grass, not even on the deck. Okay, I just canceled it. Let's back it up here. I tell you, the hat's falling down over my eyes. Somebody cut my ears off. Yeah. Okay. Alright, lining up. Backing up. Alright, let's bring it down some more. Let's get over here. I think it's uh it's close, but I don't think it's perfect. Let's bring it back just a little and a little over. Now back a little more. That's good enough for government work. So the little Mavic Mini gave me about 2,500 feet. Not bad. I guess that's about a half a mile away. Your mileage may vary, so if any of you have tried it, uh, let me know how it worked for you. But that's what I got, 2,500 feet. And I think you might get more if you could use some antenna reflectors on the controller. But that's my results. Any questions, just leave them under the video. Let me know how you like the flight. Did you like, do you think it was pretty out there? I thought it was just a wonderful day to fly. Okay, we'll see you next time. Over and out.